Another type of control chart is the Levi Jennings control chart. And this gets back closer to the uh, original idea of three standard deviations, because it actually uses standard deviations to calculate limits. And this is often used in uh, laboratory settings. So here's some data. We've got some data over time of cholesterol, let's say from a particular uh, patient. And we can take that data, click on the QI macros, You'll notice there's a couple of different kinds of Levi Jennings. One uses standard deviation. The other one calculates limits that are 10, 20, and 30 percent away from the uh, center line. So let's do the standard deviation chart first. It's going to prompt us for our titles here. And you can see that cholesterol is pretty much being standard at 198, which is just slightly lower than the 200. So we had some that were up a little bit and some that were down a little bit. Um, that gives us one picture. We could also take that data and do Levi Jennings 10% chart. And it'll go out and calculate limits that are 10% away from the center line here. And you can see that all of these are hugging the center line, so maybe that wasn't the best test. Uh, <clears throat> but the Levi Jennings chart is used widely in hospital laboratory settings, and you can learn more about that if it's appropriate for you. Download a 30-day trial of the QI Macros from QIMacros.com.